Candidates running for governor of North Carolina agree a good public education is the foundation of a qualified workforce. But as NBC 17's Kim Gennardo reports, the candidates have different visions of how North Carolina should prepare its children for the 21st century. Wonderful. Read the directions. The future of North Carolina begins in the classroom. Students are taught and tested then told the next step is college. But the Republican nominee for governor sees it differently. And I think we need to put a new emphasis on the vocational type of training in our high schools. Pat McCrory told a group of business leaders our public schools are concentrating degrees, too way, much on the four-year degree. And I, this is very politically incorrect to say, but there are a lot of vocational opportunities that are available for children. <laughs> But not as many as there once were. At Cedar Ridge High School in Hillsboro, this is no ordinary shop class. These high schoolers make award-winning furniture. And if they see that they can use their um, mechanical aptitude or their electrical aptitude and find a good job, I would emphasize redirecting many people into vocational type of training. McCrory says by providing more vocational opportunities, we'll make a big dent in the 30% high school dropout rate. The Democrats' choice for Governor Bev Perdue sees it a bit differently. Oh, I love vocational education, but I don't dream of teaching somebody to fix uh, electrical engines. I dream of them becoming an electrical engineer so that they can fix other engines in the 21st century and so they can invent a new car motor in general. Purdue says you keep kids in school by keeping them at or above grade level with routine diagnostic assessments. So you can't let them get to seventh or eighth grade and be three or four grade levels behind because when they get there they've already decided I'm a failure I might as well act up rather than act stupid. Whether it's Purdue's college promise or McCrory's vocational emphasis both agree a better education is the key to improving our economy. In Raleigh, Kim Gennardo, NBC 17 News. And the gubernatorial candidates both addressed a group of business leaders who are active in improving schools. Education will remain a key campaign issue leading into the November general election.